Hi guys, and welcome back to part two of uh, um, the FMC uh, for dummies. The SM FMC for dummies. Now, something I didn't do on the first video. If you missed the first video, go back and go through that. It is all explained there. But there's one thing I did miss out, and that is where do you find the waypoints? <laughs> I thought about that later, and then um, one of my subscribers, Doug, my mate Doug, in Australia reminded me don't forget to show people where you get the waypoints uh, because it can be a bit of a mystery if you haven't done it before okay so what I'll do is I'll get the FMC um, to the stage where we're ready to put in the waypoints okay now we go to legs and now we go to route data okay now we're ready to put in our waypoints. Now where the heck are our waypoints? Now I want to see all the NDBs or the waypoints up the coast to um, Los Angeles. Some people import another add-on uh, for their computer, a DLC, which shows them here, uh, maps and things showing all the airline routes and everything. What I do is I push uh, V and that brings up our map, okay? Now you can find all your waypoints on here. If you can make it a little bit bigger, that is good. Now you see all these little black marks down here, N Z Y Z O P E X. These are little um, NDBs, I think they're called, NOBs or something. And they are what you use for your waypoints. So here's my direct line up the coast to KLX. Now if you didn't want to use waypoints you could just use this line here okay. Click on your autopilot and your plane would follow this straight line but you wouldn't have any waypoints and you wouldn't have an ILS approach or landing. So what you need to do is add a few waypoints that are going to help you line up for the approach. Now if you zoom in, if you zoom in a little bit there we go there's the name of all your waypoints. Now in the first video you'll see that I put in minnow and there it is there. Okay, so you put that into your FMC as one of your waypoints. Our bass, you can come up here. Now what you want to do is you want to swing around. There's your runway. You want to swing, or swing around and have a nice approach. So you're looking for waypoints out here, which are going to help you have a nice approach in to the runway. So I would pick something like um, um, Catley, and then I would come around, uh, do, do, where are we, uh, there's Guppy, there's Guppy. So I would choose Catley out here, then I would come down, I would put in Guppy as a waypoint. And then I would put the ILS of KLAX for the runway, 06 right. And then my flight plan would follow these waypoints. It would come over to here and then turn and go straight into KLAX. Okay. So let's put those waypoints in and we'll see what happens to our flight plan. Okay, so the first one I'm going to put in is Albas, which is just down there somewhere. Um, so I'll put in A, L, B, A, S, our bass on my scratch pad. Put that in there as our first waypoint. Then I'll put Driffy, D, R, I, F, Y, there's Drippy, so I'll put that in as a second waypoint. There's two that sound very similar, they're just built a little bit differently. So I've got to choose which one I want. I think it's that one. Hopefully it's the right one. Then I'll put in Catley, C, A, T, L, 
um, Y put that one in there and the last one which is just out here which will help us line up the runway nicely which is Guppy okay G U P P I okay that's my scratch pad put that one up there now I'm going to click activate now this lights come on for execute I'm going to hit execute okay now look what's happened to my flight plan all of a sudden I've got a really nice approach to the runway I come right around here over to here intercept the ILS and then straight in for a nice ILS landing that's what happens when you find the right waypoints here and you just type them in in the order that you want them okay so just take some time sort out a nice approach okay what I would do is I'd ta I take a note of these or save them or do a screenshot so when I fly the route again I know exactly which waypoints work for me which ones really work and which ones don't okay so we've got those waypoints in but we still need to do something and that is our departure and arrival still need to do our departure and arrival so let's depart uh, runway 27 okay and execute let's go back to departure and arrival let's do our arrival here click on that and we're going to pick an ILS approach that we want I want run runway 06 right so I'm going to click on the ILS for 06 right click on that okay and then I'm going to click execute execute right so when we go into our legs we see all our run our waypoints listed here right down to KRSP they've put in some extra ones for us automatically if we go to page 2 next page down here we can see our waypoints uh, filled in all the way to runway 6 now if we come up here we can see our beautiful flight plan from Albus, Driffy, Catley around here to Exert. It's filled it out with a few extra ones automatically. So we've got a beautiful flight plan right around to the ILS approach. Uh, so I hope that helps you. Watch the first video, part one. That will help you with the, all the information and, the, and putting the waypoints in to the FMC. And then this one, I just thought I'd answer that question on where to actually find your waypoints. Uh, so I hope that helps. Okay, I'm making my turn to the right now, and then I'll be on my final approach. Going to bring my speed down. And uh, get my speed under 200 knots. Start bringing down my flaps. Altitude down to 3000 to intercept the ILS. Okay, start lowering my flaps. Uh, bring my speed down a little bit more uh, you can see my magenta diamond is around about in the middle so I'm in front of the runway I'm going to hit approach mode and uh, hopefully my plane will make the necessary adjustments and lock on to the ILS beacon uh, there we go, we have both diamonds active now. So my plane is locked onto the ILS beacon and we should follow that down to the runway. Now on our um, FMC here, there's only two waypoints to go. There's Guppy and then there's runway 6 right. So that's it. Only two, uh, one more waypoint left and this, then it's the runway. So um, program programming our flight plan on the FMC here has just worked absolutely 
uh, brilliantly. So let's bring our gear down. Lower our flaps a bit more. Okay, so this video um, just proves that a dummy like me can figure out how to work the FMC <laughs> and I've done it. Uh, I've managed to do it successfully. It seemed a little bit slow, but as I do it over the next few days and practice, practice and practice, it will become very, very fast. I'll be able to just go click, 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 click and I'll have my, have my flight plan programmed in uh, to the FMC just like that, very efficiently, very quickly. Um, right, there's our runway up ahead there. And it appears that we are locked on to the ILS beacon. So that's good. Let's see if we can get a nice soft landing in. Uh, if you missed the last video, go back and see it. Um, uh, the one before this and you will see how a dummy programmed, programmed our flight plan in to the FMC. Uh, could be things I'm doing wrong, could be things I need to do better. If you're experienced, don't criticize, just put some helpful tips in the comments below. That would be appreciated. I'd be able to see it and other people will be able to see it. Um, we're all in the same community, we're all in the same boat. So we might as well support each other, encourage each other. Um, and let's help each other upskill together and when that beautiful 737 comes out from PMDG we'll be able to get in and we will know what we're doing. We'll be able to just fly it. Um, well we'll be a lot better prepared than what we would be if we didn't do any upskilling or any practice. Uh, so I sort of treat this plane as a training plane really for the PMG 737. Just like the Air Force, they have uh, really these beautiful big fighter jets, but they also have trainer jets that are a little bit more simple. And that's what I'm using this 737 for right now, using it as a trainer jet, um, trying to upskill, trying to learn as much as I can uh, before the PMDG one comes out. I know that one will be study level, so there'll be a lot of new things to look at and new things to learn. Uh, but if I start working hard now, uh, I'll be better prepared and I'll be able to get into that PMDG plane and actually be able to find my way around. Okay, now autopilot is on, but don't forget to bring your throttle down to idle. Uh, we're going to turn off the um, auto throttle, the flight director, and the autopilot as soon as we get close to the runway. Beautiful day. Look at the water. It's like a mirror. It's just a beautiful day here at Los Angeles. Beautiful colors. Okay, get ready. Turn off the autopilot. 400. When do you turn off your autopilot? Two Let me know in the comments. Is it about now or is it uh, earlier? Uh, just interested to know how you do it. Flare a little bit. There we go. A little bit of bounce there, unfortunately. Not that good a landing, I'm afraid. Reverse thrust. Okay, let's taxi to the gate. Right, well I'm going to stop here guys, 
um, because for the purpose of this video we were just testing out the, our flight plan that we programmed into the FMC for the very first time we took a flight and I just wanted to try out um, uh, the FMC see if everything was working the way it was supposed to see that I did everything correctly and it appears that um, I did everything worked fine uh, on the FMC so I'm a little bit more impressed with this plane now just a little bit more impressed there is a lot of things that do work well um, a lot that doesn't but a lot of things that do work and we can get a lot of flying a lot of fun and enjoyment out of this plane so the FMC seems to be working just fine I think there will be a few advanced uh, features that aren't working um, but they probably will be working on the PDMG when it comes out uh, but like I said, I'm using this as a plane to try and learn and, and upskill myself in preparation for the PMDG 737. Uh, so I recommend that you get stuck into the FMC, have a bit of a go, have a bit of a practice, check out my other video, my first video, and um, maybe do a little bit of research for yourself as well, because maybe I'm, I'm not doing everything 100% correctly. I'm just here to get started, try and teach myself, because I'm a real dummy. Uh, but if it gives you a bit of a kick and helps you get going and get started, well, that is well and good. Make a comment below um, if you have any helpful suggestions. Um, let's do our training together. <laughs> and let's upskill together and learn as we go. Thanks for watching, guys. Make a comment. Give me a click. Give me a like if you like it. And uh, stay safe. Look after yourself. We'll talk soon. Ciao.